My name is Xiu Tingzhe, and my team ID is SG226043. I am a student from Zhenghua Primary School. I have participated in the RoboCup Coast Space Rescue first steps due 12 last year. The preliminary challenge leads us to collect objects and deposit them, trying our best to get as many points as possible. We also need some problem-solving skills. Some strategies I use are the RRGGBB and the wall following. This map is really suitable for wall following as the deposit box is near a wall. When the robot follows the wall, it can easily get to the deposit box. However, on some other maps, it's not suited for wall following as the robot might get stuck somewhere. The RRGGBB algorithm Objects For advanced condition, if the loaded object is less than 6 and the color of the object is less than 2, the robot will collect the object of the same color. For advanced actions, if duration equals to 0 and the color of the object will be equal to the color of the object plus 1, remember to put a semicolon behind for the code to work. For deposit, in advanced actions, when red is more than 0, cyan is more than 0, and black is more than 0, the robot will deposit all the objects. Why I put it as 0 and not 1? Is because when my robot gets a super object and my code says if all the colors all the colors of the object is more than one the robot will not deposit as one spot is occupied by the super object for advanced actions all the objects will be equal to zero remember to put a semicolon behind two here is a video See, it avoided the black object because it already knows it has two black objects already. Now it has two cyan and it will not get any more cyan objects. Sometimes this code takes a while to get the RRGGBB. Like in this map, it's because the red is at the center and my robot is usually near the wall. And so it is harder for my robot to get to the center to collect the red objects. And there you go, RGGBB. It can be pretty rewarding once you get the super object. I have learned a lot of things through code space. First, problem solving skills. Sometimes my code might not work and it will be quite annoying. Second, that's when patience comes in. Third, we must help one another as our friend might not be able to make the program good and he might get very less points, so we must help them. Thank you for listening.